Hi, my name is Colette Merrill, and I'm doing my presentation on Catherine Beecher. Ooh. Catherine was born in 1800 to Lyman Beecher and his first wife, Roxanna Foote Beecher. They together had ten children, and when she died, he remarried and had three more children. Catherine was the oldest of the 13 children. Her father, Lyman, was a very well-known minister in their area, and he instilled in his children the need to find truth and to serve God. When Catherine was younger, she was known for her star quality of being of her star quality as a student and in her teens she started writing ballads and poems and this is where she first started her her writing career um, her poems were published in the Christian Spectator and um, Alexander Fisher who was a professor um, inquired of the author of these poems and this t at this time they started a relationship together and in 1820 they were engaged. In 1822 he was in a shipwreck accident and he died and Catherine was pretty devastated by this so she went to live with his family for a while and his brother taught her some of the subjects um, that she would learn in school and she decided at this time to devote her life to the field of education. In 1823 her sister Mary and her decided to um, open a girls' school in Hartford, Connecticut, and they were teaching these girls about the home and how to be a mother. After a while, they were able to turn this school into a female seminary. At this time, the, they were only allowed to learn certain subjects like the fine arts and languages, but they decided they wanted these girls to learn a plethora of different subjects and so Mary or Mary and Catherine hired eight more teachers where they were more s learned in different subjects so that these girls could learn and have a complete education. She ran this school for eight years and then after eight years she left the school to a colleague from the school and she moved to Ohio with her father. While she was in Ohio she wrote a book that advocated for free public education and she also wrote a book that was against women's suffrage. Even though her sisters were for women's suffrage she wrote against it because she believed that women should be subordinate to men and that they should um, devote their time to teaching their children and if they weren't going to be teaching children in their home then they should be school teachers and teach children there. From the time of 1845 to 1871 she wrote several books that had to do with education, women, women in education, um, women in the home, just books about the home. She wrote cookbooks, she wrote textbooks. She wrote several different things that advocated for education. And then in 1878, she died. So what was her big educational contribution? Like I said, she wrote several books on education and women in education. and. She f felt that, like I said earlier, that women were to be school teachers if they were not going to have children and they should take this time to learn how to be mothers if they were not going to be mothers. Um, she said if all females were not only educated themselves, but were prepared to communicate in an easy manner their stores of knowledge to others if they not only knew how to regulate their own minds, tempers, and habits, but how to effect improvements in those around them, the face of society would be speedily changed. She also said, it is to mothers and to teachers that the world is to look for the 
character which is to be stamped on each succeeding generation. For it is to them that the great business of education is almost exclusively committed. And will it not appear by examination that neither mothers nor teachers have ever been properly educated for their profession. So she believed that women were very influential in education and in the lives of many people. So what does this mean to me? Me personally, because I am a woman, I am able to get an education because she advocated for women to get education. Also, many of us, probably our mothers, were educated as well. And we probably all received public education, which she did advocate for. She also, um, she also had her, so her women's educational association that helped teachers come out west to build schools. I have personally lived in Idaho my whole life, and um, because of her help, I was able to get education because she helped them to build schools. Catherine Beecher was truly a major contribution to education.